Hello, hello, hello. We are here in Adobe Dreamweaver. So what I'm going to do right now is I want to open Adobe Dreamweaver, uh, one of their starter packs, and then I want to go through, go look at three C schools. W3 schools rather okay then in there oh let's just go there there we go w3 schools.com okay which is right here so what I want to do oh I'll let go of go Okay. All right. So the point is, what I want to do. I'm going to go to the HTML section, and what I want to go to in here is just the not the test and all that stuff. All I want to look at are some ref some reference information here. Okay. So what we're going to go through is some some of the elements. It's a good place to start. You get to know a little bit about HTML and what some of these elements are. That's very important when you start learning about web design so you know what you're looking at on the page. Now there is another instructor that does teach and he is certified by Adobe. I am not certified by Adobe. I am simply going through all of the information myself. I have a past tech history and so forth so I understand most of this. I just don't have any formal um, recent stuff set up except for what's on my web page right now or what's on my other stuff right now my socials and everything so anyway so I need to refresh all of this and in doing so I'm gonna go through it this way which will also help someone else who may or may not know it because you know learning all of this stuff is pretty extensive HTML, CSS, JavaScript, SQL, Python, Java, PHP, Bootstrap, a lot of stuff, lots and lots of information so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna start here so what I want to do I'm gonna set this aside right like that so I can find it click file click new click starter template <clears throat> I know I was looking at the bootstrap template now I was not familiar with bootstrap but of course as the name implies it appears to be you know ready-made websites that you can just pop in your information to create a website and you're done Let's go to the e-commerce one because I think that's one that everyone would more or less understand the layout pretty well. So we're going to open the e-commerce website. Okay, now up here it says code, split, and live with the little down arrow next to live. You have live and design. Just like that. If I click on live, it goes like that. And then code. There's the code. The code would be right here. The one that you're working on is the one that's a lighter color, which I picked gray and white. And it's going to have all of these programs that are a part of this program 
these are all the source codes that this page is using. Now, I didn't name it anything. I could show source code, new, open, close. Look at that. Okay. Open in browser, Google Chrome. If I click on that, which is what I, whoops, save changes. I'm not leaving. Hold on. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use split view. The split view is going to use the live view right here and then the code view down here. Let's, now I know this is called, excuse me, I know this is called a hero header or something. I really don't like that particular header, but I think you can find it by clicking on it. Carousel. Okay, there we go. See? So when you click on it, it'll find it down here. This is the image. This is where it saved the image. How many pixels? The image, you know, 1920 across, 500 down which I don't approve is too big. But that's not the point. The point is this is where you will find that image by clicking on it. Up here, it looks like the image block name and some other information we're going to learn more about. And this is the way I learn. I click and read, click and read, click and read. So HTML, SRC, which is a, an image, a, the alt text, third side, width, height, undefined link, bootstrap, click to shape, make image responsive. See, so you could choose any of these. I'm going to click that. Click that again. I'm going to change this, right? So let's change this to 1248, I think it is. I forgot the number. I'm thinking of, um, oops, no, see, hold on. Click again. Oh boy. Okay. 1248. I don't know if you can change it here. Whoops. Oh, you can also move these little tabs. So let's do it that way. So if I find my bottom tab, which is right here. Nope, not right there. See, that's what gets really difficult is when they have all these other tabs. Okay, this is only going sideways, not... Again, it's a way of learning. Let me do... Oops. And there we go. <laughs> Not sure where it went. Oh, there we are. Still up there. Anyways, we're going to learn about all of this. And when, instead of me playing and having fun, what I should be doing is going back, undo edit, undo edit, edit, undo edit. <laughs> There, no more undo, so we're back at the beginning. So, <laughs> all right, everything that's highlighted right here is going to be all of this right here. This is the whole body that's highlighted down here. There are some new terminologies that I did not use previously in my previous tech life, if you want to call it that, my younger tech life, carousel, hero header. Uh, let's see, what other items? The items I do know 
I know HTML, header, meta, title, link, the href, I understand that, body, I understand this, this, nav class, I understand what that is, div and class, two different things, and you see the different ways that they are presented with different colors. That's important. Distinction, span, button, div, U-L-L-I, and then another link here with the href. The A tells me that there's an href in here. Okay, this is the beginning of a list. This is the end of a list because of this. Whoops. We're not going to edit. Okay, undo. And it goes back to where it was. Alright. Did I do anything else? Nope. And undo is also control Z. Anytime you see any item that's here in any program whatsoever that has selections on one side and then different selections on the other side. This relates to keyboard shortcuts. The way a computer works, you have to use either the keyboard shortcuts or choose the menu item. One or the other. If they're grayed out, they're not available. And I point that out to help people learn how to look at these menus and not be intimidated. If you click something, normally you can just get right out of it or undo it with the undo function. That's a great way to learn is to click on stuff and then undo it. If you're working on a website or any project whatsoever, always, 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 always work on a copy. Do not work on the original files of that website or that project. Work on a copy. Keep the original as a backup away from the area that you're working. Either on a disk or on a, you know, uh, on a USB drive or an external disk or, you know, a Google Drive or somewhere else that's away from the drive that you are accessing your information from. Okay? Away from that drive to be safe. So keep all of your information, your images, everything you can, uh, you know, that go with that project somewhere else as a backup. Uh, very important. When you see these little arrows right here, that means there's a side menu. When you see these little dots right here, it's called ellipsis. That means there's a panel of information that has more configurations or menus or options. Here you see another one. Go down here. So I'm not going to make any changes, but that has to do with the menu, keyboard shortcuts. So, you know, that's how you, I mean, you can just scan through any of this stuff and learn more about it by scanning through it. Okay. Um, now, let's take a look down here. Let's go over here to... Oh, I lost it. I set it aside. And here it is. Alright. Now, let's take a look at a few things. Okay. This is a great way to learn is by opening up some information in one source and learning together with another source and that helps you verify your information a little more. This source here, 3w3schools.com has been around, oh gosh, forever and ever <laughs> since the beginning of the internet. Uh, and they have expanded, you know. Uh, to all of these languages and information here and they keep working on new stuff all the time. Right now 
this HTML section has all of this in it. So the elements that are inside an HTML page are all listed here to learn more. And the previous elements that are no longer used are also listed in case you find them. You know what they are. So, let's scoot that over a little bit. So first, at the beginning of every single web page everywhere, you will find this right here. Go back to my page. <laughs> oh, where are you? I keep losing it because I set it aside. Okay. I want to set it like, if I put it on the other page there. Okay, so doc type is way up here. It means define the document type. It's a doc type. It's an HTML doc type. That's important. And the, the reason they have that is so that a web browser knows what this is. This is communication to web browsers, right? And that's what that means. Okay, so let's go down. This says EN for English. So this particular HTML language is using English. And it's important to put that on the top of the website. This is pretty standard right here. If you create a website, you really you want this. Then you create now you're going to create this right here where it says HTML and then the other side of this is going to be way on the bottom because that's the beginning of the entire page. So you're going to have see this slash right here? You're going to have a slash in, in front of the HTML and that's called a tag and we will look at that word too. So that means that this is the beginning of the tag explaining that the language used for the entire page is English and that is referenced to Chrome and Edge and Safari and all the other browsers okay so that way they read that and they know the whole web page is that particular language and the bottom of that is it this is at the, I can't see it from here. I have to scroll the way down. Okay, we'll get more into that later. Okay, so then the beginning of the head tag. It's a tag, a head tag. So let's go down here and look for the word head. We'll, we'll, we'll go look these up. Let's do it that way. I'm going along as I'm going along. If you don't like my methods or anything, Please, please don't hurt yourself. Go somewhere else. And more power to you. Enjoy your journey. Okay, the head tag. Uh, we'll start at the beginning. The HTML tag defines the root of an HTML document. The head tag contains metadata information for the document. So, when you see this indent here, that indent is part of the item above it. So the HTML is way over here, then the head is underneath the HTML over to the side with an indent, and then the meta is over to the side with an indent. Now this word meta has been around for ages and ages, long before Facebook, why he chose the word meta meta and why people keep choosing these words that have already been used for other sources other ways I don't know that's his choice but that's what the word meta actually means it means that it's describing the type of data that's used to understand this website so let's take a look at the word meta down here to see what's formal in the explanation of it. 
what it actually says here. Okay, define some metadata about an HTML document. I mean, basically, okay, the character set, the type of character set. And I'm just going over the briefness of this so that you understand how it's set up. You can look at more details. If you research UTF-8, you'll look up the character set of that and learn more about it if you wish. There's so much information on the internet, you'll be able to find it, no problem. HTTP equivalent, U, uh, UA, UX, UA compatible, content, i.e. edge, okay, meta name, viewport, content, with equal device dash with initial dash select scale equal one so it's scaled one x you know it's not like a hundred x scale just whatever it's made however way it's made in the beginning is how it's scaled and then you go from there you do adjustments by using other settings the title, okay, here we go. The title, Bootstrap e-commerce page template. And see you have this slash, and this one does not have a slash. That's the beginning of the, um, that's the beginning of the tag, and the slash is the end of the tag, and the title should be at the very top of a web page. It's going to be at the very, very top. I don't see it on this one, uh, maybe because of how it's demonstrating it right here. It's not going to be down here. The title is going to be way above, like above your address. The URL is going to be above that. Is the title, and that's the title of the entire page. You know, that's what that means. Um, if I look in here, we'll look for title. We get carried away here so title in here is going to say right here defines a title for the document yeah they should put a little more info in there but okay so let's look at this one right here the what's the title for this document HTML reference is the title I believe I don't know is it so let's left click or right click Let's go view page source. Look at that. See? It looks very similar, doesn't it? Okay. Now, let's click on line wrap. And let's control plus and make it bigger. And look at that. HTML reference. That's what that is. That's the title. Okay? Pretty easy. There you go. So now you know where the title is located. You can't see it on here because of what's on the screen. They don't have this tab way up here on the screen. So now you know where the title is. The title of this page, when I click on it, title of this page is view source ACM HTTPS blah 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 all of that is the title of this page okay if I click here like this I'm not gonna be able to get to it because I'm looking at HTML of the previous page so, for this particular web page, it goes through here, just like this one, has the same information. Now you can put dash US, you can put English down here, head tag, head tag, this one has added meta tags. You don't have to have them. You can have them down here instead of up there. That's fine. 
change title to up here and let me see here let's see so that that's a good start we've gone into 25 minutes so if you go ahead and go to this page and you right click on any website even if you just want to use this page as a reference you can do it that way if I open this up like this and I click on the eight the three W3 schools you don't even have to be a Dreamweaver right so you can right click now when you right click on this you can't do it like from here okay you have to do it from an empty space that down in the page like right here and then you get all of this right here okay and you can view page source like that and then see how this goes way off over here if you want to have it on the same page click on the line wrap box right up there and it brings it in and then you can let me see if I do it with my mouse uh, now I mean I can go up here in Chrome and I can click on this little plus sign to zoom in like that or I can zoom out like that so, so either way it can be a lot of fun or I can do control plus or control minus see so go through these right here inside of HTML references you, when you click on HTML you can click on the references the element HTML elements right here and then in the elements explains more about elements how they work what they look like when they're nested example and that's what's so nice about this particular program all right if I can do control end that'll go to the bottom of the page control home will go to the top of the page I can do control page let me see home yeah home um, I can do next attributes now how do I get where I was let me see oh well, we have references is that where it was and this is how I learn I go hmm how did I get there where was I right so I mean I could go here tag reference uh, okay this is good yeah this is it tag reference by alph alphabet, by category, by browser support, look at this, by attribute. That's how I learn. I click and read. Click and read. Does it mean that I remember everything all the time? Does it mean I'm going to remember everything next week? I mean, just like remembering names you might remember it five minutes from now or you might forget and have to refresh your brain again so that's how you learn okay so that's how you can find all of this information that references the website design process so that you can learn about what what you're looking at here it's best to learn what you're even looking at on the screen. Don't worry about how to design a web page until you know how the web page is already being designed, the type of pages that are already existing today. 
there are so many examples that you can look at just to give yourself uh, a chance to learn and then if you want to go into a program like Dreamweaver and then you go into file new and you want to pick a, a starter template right let's get a basic layout template let's get a simple grid template let's click create right and so when you look at all of this down here you're gonna be like oh what is this okay and the best way to learn what that is is by looking at that type of website information as soon as I can get it back on the screen right here whoops <laughs> I clicked on something look at that look what I did <laughs> ah, that's a lot of information right there I clicked on one of these scripts Ooh, library common DPS JS JavaScript 1.0 click Boom, look at all this cool stuff. Yay. <laughs> now, this is all bunched together. It's not in rows. <laughs> Dependencies. So, I mean, this is just the information on the Internet is available right here for you to learn from. Okay. So, there you go. So, there's more information about learning how to create web pages and this is where you should start or if you get lost go in here to learn more in that specific area so that you can refresh your mind and refocus on whatever it is you're doing this is always available and you don't have to log into anything it's just here three w3schools.com you'll love it all right have a great day bye bye oh please like and subscribe uh, please support the channel if you think this is useful or could be useful for someone else it doesn't cost any money to you whatsoever and I don't make any money <laughs> Uh, it takes a very long time or lots and lots, thousands of people before I might make a few pennies, I guess. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of time to do all of this. So uh, I'm not going to get rich in two seconds. If you like and subscribe, it would be very supportive and uh, give me a chance to keep refining my way of presentation <laughs> and work on it. So have a great day. Thank you very much. And talk to you later. Bye.